you guys so today I'm coming at you with another lip product review this is the super stay matte ink by Maybelline it's a new liquid lipstick from them this one has been blowing up my YouTube and my Instagram feed a lot of people love it so I bought it to just give it a try and see if I like the formula I picked up the shade 45 escapist um, so this retails for $7.49 at Walmart and you get exactly 1.7 ounces in this container here. It's got a matte packaging that's supposed to represent the color that's on the inside and a white lid. It's very square and sleek and it does look kind of professional. This would be a little bit big to keep in your pocket I think but just to store in your purse if you have to reapply or something I think it's pretty good. Um, just to compare the size though, you get 1.7 ounces in this. The standard wet and wild liquid lipstick you get 0.21 ounces also from the drugstore and from the drugstore as well you can pick up the Revlon um, matte or metallic lip products and you get 0.2 ounces so you are getting a little less product in here. The Revlon one I think retails for eight or nine dollars but this wet and wild one is only like four or five bucks so price point wise you're paying about eight dollars here and you're getting less product I do have this color on now um, as you can see I personally believe it is a few shades darker than the packaging I was hoping this color um, would be more of a gray based purple but it's really more of a pink based purple because where I did have some staining from the first layer it looked very pink underneath so when you look at this with the naked eye to me it almost looks black which is a little darker than the color I was really hoping to get. There are a total of 10 shades, so I noticed a nice selection of nudes when I was in the drugstore, and then there were a few reds, and the color that was labeled after this was a very, very deep, like, um, blood red. So, I mean, there's definitely a nice color selection, I think, for the 749, and, and considering it's a new product, you know, if it goes over well, they might release more. I am going to go ahead and zoom you guys in here, but the applicator that this comes with is triangular in shape um, it's almost like an almond shape um, it's very small but it doesn't have any bend or give to it when you're applying it's a very stiff applicator so it, that does allow you to be really precise as you can see I overlined my cupid's bow in the first shot I overlined so it does allow precision to give some shape if you want to line your lips or overline which I appreciate. It also has a little divot in the center, um, which is, it looks sort of like a hole, which I believe is um, almost like, that's an area that's supposed to hold more product for you, like a little ink well, like a little well. <laughs> no pun intended on the name, but I think that is supposed to be so you don't have to uh, dip in for more product. Um, I am currently wearing two layers right now. I can show you a shot of what one layer of this color looks like and then this is what two layers looks like on my lips. Go ahead and zoom in. Um, this is what the two layers looks like versus one layer. Also um, I forgot to mention I did put this on at noon and it's right now right just after six o'clock. I have been doing a lot of eating. Um, so this, I do think it looks phenomenal for how much eating I've been doing. The only places it's really worn are here inside on my lip. So just based on that close up, you could see where it has worn off in the middle of my lip and kind of clumped um, along the edge. Very, very sticky upon initial application. Um, I could leave my lips at rest and pulled them apart and they were sticky and it was very super sticky up until about the one hour mark. It's gonna hold you while we do this. <laughs> As a kid, if you ever played with, they came with like a little straw and a little squeezy tube and you would squeeze some of the sticky stuff out on your hand and put it on the end of the straw and blow into the straw and it made this like big rubber bubble. If you ever, <laughs> hi baby. If you ever played with those as a kid, then you know what I'm talking about. They were super sticky when they would pop um, and get all over your hands and face as a kid, which is probably why we didn't get to play with those very much when my sister and I were little. That's exactly what this feels like on my lips, and that is what it made me think of when I put it on initially, and that's still what it's making me think of now. 
This is the least sticky it's been after eating, after taking a nap, drinking drinks, going about my day. It's still pretty sticky and it was super sticky in the beginning. My lips just kind of like peel together and you can almost feel it peeling the layers of product because your lips are sticking together so much that the product like sticks to itself and wants to rip off your lips when you close your mouth. I think that's why it hasn't come off when I've eaten or anything because um, it's very, very, very sticky. I think that's what gives it its longevity. So the question, is this lip product worth the hype? Um, I would say it is a good liquid lipstick from the drugstore. However, for me, it's not anything revolutionary, except for the fact that it's not super drying, which would be a pro to some people. Um, it's super sticky, which is too much of a con for me to want to repurchase this. It's up to you, really, if it's worth the hype for you. Um, if it is, that's great. I'm glad you love the product. Keep in mind, these are just my personal opinions. So if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and click the like button, please, <laughs> and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.